Testing your blood sugar sounds like it should be the easiest part of diabetes management. You take out the little glucose meter, you prick your finger, you put a little drop of blood on the strip, one, two, three, four, five, or actually five, four, three, two, one, and then it gives you the results. So it's this really quick kind of simple moment, but sometimes it's one of the hardest things for me to do on a regular basis. It's not actually testing that's difficult, it's finding out what the number is that I find challenging. I mean, I can take my meter and I can put the strip in, hang on, and I can prick my finger, and then I can prick my finger again, and prick it again. Why don't I bleed and prick my finger again? All right, hello. And I can check and put the little, huh, and I get my result. And there we're at, 150 for now. I don't really have a huge problem with that result because it's after I ate, but sometimes finding out what my blood sugar is can be a really arduous process because I don't always want to know what the number is. And sometimes I see the number and I'm like, yes. And sometimes I see the number and I'm like, ah. Or when I know I'm high and I'm thirsty and my mouth has like the teeth sweaters going on in it and I just feel disgusting. And I don't want to see that my blood sugar is 300. I want to see that it's 104 all the time. And it's not. But there's a lot of power to be found in these numbers. There's something about knowing where you are and knowing where you were that helps you get to where you want to go. Knowing those numbers gives me the information that I need to make good healthcare decisions. And that sounds so formal and so like, that's boring, but it's true. I can't fix a number if I don't know what it is and I can't even celebrate a number if I don't know what it is. So all those godforsaken 100s that I keep taking pictures of, I wish they weren't as few and far between as they are, but I like seeing them and I like celebrating them though. So there's something about testing that gives me the opportunity to celebrate that victory. So in the past few years, I've learned to like testing. I like knowing what my number is. I actually don't even mind having my fingertips look creepy crazy like E.T.'s fingertips. Ouch. And I find that the more I test, the better control I have. So it's not fun to test. It's not like, oh, I love bleeding so much. I don't but it's useful and it's a very, very small step that I can take towards making a big change. And then it's over. And I don't have to do it again for a bit, but I know where I stand and that's empowering. I actually made a fist because I feel empowered by that. Like I could punch diabetes in the face only. I'm not a lefty, so I'd punch it with my right hand, but I'm not very strong either. So, um, so I would just make a face at it and flick it. I can't make myself produce insulin and I can't make myself react to foods the same way every single time I eat them, but I can monitor where I'm at and where I'm going. And even if the tool feels remedial at times, you know, blood from my finger, uh, I need to keep testing. It's important to keep testing. And I have to remind myself that these numbers matter because I matter. That sounds so cheesy. <laughs> Sorry.